everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer and today we continue our saga of Dior. I finally got the last two Dior quints that I ordered, the purple shades. I've picked up now every single quint in the new Dior formula, except for two. They're hot pink shades and they're just not me and I won't wear them. Today we're gonna do the 2-2 quint. You can see it here and I'll swatch it for you in a minute. And the other one came kind of broken, so it's kind of a mess. Uh, I'll show it to you. I will do a video on it another day after I get it cleaned up. That's the plum tool. It's kind of falling apart, so I'm going to be very careful with it. I'm not going to return it or anything. I'm just going to use it as is. I mean, I have so many of them at this point, I, I think it's fine. You might notice that I already have a shade on my eye. It's because I recorded all of this intro and then I don't know what happened to it. I don't know, but at least we caught it early. So, so the shade on my eye is the middle shade, which we'll, we'll get to in a second. So you can actually kind of see I have the, the swatches on my hand already because I just filmed this. It's been that kind of day. Um, all right, so let's, this is the topper shade. Can't really see it. This is satin. It's really pretty like, um, like almost like a light plum, lilac shimmer. This is the deep matte purple shade, it's like an eggplant. And then the shade I have on my eyes currently is again, sort of like the plum, but it's a, um, it's a, a matte shade. It's a little deeper than this one. I actually think this will be very nice for fall. I am not one of those people who believes in only wearing particular shades, particular colors, whatever, you know, different seasons. But um, it is, there is like a fall feeling and I absolutely get that. So uh, I live here in New England. We're very much into the fall and frankly, it feels like fall because it's like 50 degrees out right now. It's supposed to be warmer in the next couple of days, but you do get this. I wanna wear more browns and deep tones and that type of thing. And I think this would work actually really well. So I'm gonna go back into that middle shade. This is the Tom Ford 13 brush and all I'm doing is going into the transition and buffing it out a little bit. I am going more into my inner corner than I usually do with this. I just thought, let's see, let's see what happens. I may look like I got punched in the face. I don't know. We'll find out. It's possible, but it's a very pretty shade. Like this one in particular, um, I think is very fall-like and the the eggplant shade, just because, you know, they're a little bit deeper toned purples. I think they're really pretty. Um, and as I've mentioned about 5 million times, the Dior formula is amazing. I'm going on with the Chikohoto blend brush. This is a very soft brush and I'm just making sure there are not a lot of harsh edges on this. There's nothing on this brush. Okay. And we'll clean it up at the end, guys. These are very pigmented shadows, all the quints are, so either do your eyes first or be comfortable with the fact that you're gonna have to clean up afterwards. Even if you're like tapping off your brush, which I, I do recommend, I do think you're probably gonna get a little bit of fallout. Let's go with the BK Beauty 202, one of my favorite brushes. And um, let's, let's deepen it up. Let's use the eggplant. I'll just use it on the outer corner here. Let's just see how that looks. And we can always add more in later. Oh, that's really pretty. You know, I've said this again a million times, but if you put a little on, it's gonna be a lot easier to add than if you put a lot on and try to take it off. Um, not that you can't, but it is more difficult. So by the time this video goes up, as you know, I'm never quite sure because I, I film kind of all at once. Um, you know, my, my in real life job is uh, hectic. So I try to get all of these kind of filmed at once. And so, you know, I don't necessarily know which day each one's gonna go up. It kind of depends on other things. Uh, but I would say that whenever it goes up, it is gonna be close to the end of my no buy, which will make me happy. <laughs> <laughs> Not because, I mean, I can't uh, stop myself from buying things. I can absolutely do that. 
It's just, there's so many great things coming out. The holiday collections are right around the corner, although that still seems weird for October. It gets earlier and earlier every year. And as you all know, you've already seen a lot of the holiday stuff. Um, you know, sneak peeks and all that, like we didn't have back in my day. But now, you know, everybody gets to know these things before they happen. Let's take this um, lilac and put it all over the lid. Uh, so I think, you know, there's a lot of things that I definitely want to pick up. Uh, we're going to take the BK Beauty 203. So I'm very excited about a lot of things that are that are coming out. Uh, um, the Chanel we've all seen. I mean, it's, it's technically at stores now. We're not going to actually be... Well, like some people have gotten uh, advanced product, but it really won't be out until October 1st. But still, I mean, that's, you know, pretty early when you consider really when they say holidays, they are not referring to Halloween, most of them. So, although there's holiday theme, and there's a Halloween themed releases as well, which I love Halloween. It's actually one of my favorite holidays. Although this year, I don't think there's gonna be a lot of trick or treating or anything, but. Okay, so you can see that is a very lilac y shade. It's, I mean, it pretty much dominates the look right now. So, what I'm gonna do, and if you like lilac, you're gonna love that. I'm gonna go back in though with this more plummy shade and put it all over the eye just to tone that down because for me, I am not as much. Yeah, that's good for me. Okay. And it's a good blend of the two. Like, it's not like the other color is a bad color and in fact it's very pretty um, it has a lot of shimmer to it it's just it's a little too lilac for me but if lilac is your shade guys hey i would definitely recommend this palette let's go back in with that deep shade and i'm going to use the sonia g mini booster and i'm going to go in with the the eggplant shade the deep shade and windshield wiper it back yeah, these are definitely pigmented. No doubt about that. All right, so let's take the topper, this one here. And the reason I usually use my finger for the, the toppers is if you want to get the most opacity out of a product, an eyeshadow powder, your finger is usually the best way to go. I know a lot of people don't like you using their fingers, and if you don't, you know, don't do it. Just use a brush, but I would say the denser the brush, the better you are. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the Wayne Goss 03, and I'm just gonna buff out the top of this, because as you saw, I didn't really do a brow bone shade. I am gonna put a little bit of that um, sparkle up there, but not a ton. And then let's take the very lilac -y shade and put that in the inner corner here. Yeah, that brightens it up a little bit. Let me take my Sonia G pencil and let's use the first shade that we started with, the middle shade, which is sort of like the darker plum. Run it lower lash. Okay, making sure it's even, it's important. Let me bring you in close before I put eyeliner on. Every time I get this close, I'm just like, wow, that's just way too close to my face. Okay, so. That's what it looks like without any eyeliner. And because I still haven't picked up the Chanel Purple Chalk liner, why I do not know, uh, we're gonna use Metallic Mink today, which has a cool undertone to it. You know, I keep saying that I'm gonna pick it up. Like, literally, I keep saying it, and I never do it. Chanel, if you're listening, if you wanna send me, you know, Purple Chalk, please feel, feel free. My information is in the description box on my web on my YouTube page. Feel free to send it on over. If you've been watching me for any length of time, you know I've been mentioning that I should pick up purple, purple chalk like every time. And how many things from Chanel have I bought since then? Like, oh, what is wrong with me? Metallic Mink is on. It's actually one of my favorite liners. It does have a cool undertone to it, but it's not black, which sometimes can be a little harsh on my pale skin anyway. Um, and it's not brown, so if you're doing a cooler undertone, I think it works really well, but it's not gray. It's mink. Uh, yeah, didn't I, I explain that well, didn't I? All right, so let me curl my lashes, put on mascara, and we'll pick a lipstick. Okay, guys, what do you think? 
So this is 2-2. Two, two. I actually like it. I mean, it's definitely purple. There's no doubt that it's purple, but I kind of think it looks nice. You guys let me know. Um, I've mentioned before that I'm not a, you know, a big, cool, well, no, that's not true. I like cool shades. Like I love the Na Natasha Denona Glam palette. I think that's stunning. I tend not to do pinks and purples though, um, or reds for that matter, mostly because of my hair. But I will say, I really actually like this particular purple quint. I think it's um, less of the lilac, more of the like eggplant. Like I like a deeper toned, plummy eggplant, that type of shade. Lilac, pinkish, not really my thing. I actually think that um, the lilac adds a little bit to this though, because I think if it was all dark, it would just be, for me, like too much. So I think it does lighten the look, which I really, which I actually like. So I think it looks really pretty. Um, okay, so let's move to lips. In honor of Hermes coming out with their limited edition lipsticks, we're gonna use an Hermes lipstick today. I will say a couple of things about my Hermes experience thus far. Their customer service has been very helpful on the phone and they took care of the things that I needed them to take care of, sort of, which I appreciate. But the lipsticks are not gonna be to me when they're supposed to be to me. I will, of course, review them and swatch them for you as soon as I can. Second thing I would say is, at one point, Hermes had them on their site for, I think, $2,400 each. And they seem to now be having some shipping issues. So, they are available on the Nordstrom app. <laughs> you know how I love Nordstrom, and I trust them. So, if, if it were me, I would order from Nordstrom. And we'll just leave it there. But I am very excited to try out the new colors, I love the formula, as you know. Actually, it was one of my first, well, not first, but like maybe the first five videos that I did here on YouTube. My channel had just started and Hermes had just released their lipsticks and I did a video, like a pretty short, frankly, inexperienced video. Uh, it, if you, I'll link it. It's not, it's not good, but it's up there. Uh, and I do like the formulas and I think they, they really did a very good job. And I've been using the Hermes lipsticks ever since. So, um, I know the formula is good and I'm gonna like it. It's just, it'll depend on what the shades are like. And I forgot to mention what I'm putting on my lips right now. I got so like worked up about the Hermes lipsticks. This is the Chanel uh, Pivone, probably not even close, but it's kind of got a pinkish rose shade to it. And hopefully that was all in camera. I'm trying to be get, I'm trying to do better at that. It's kind of hard to gauge where the camera is, where the mirror is, where you guys are, but I'm trying. So this is the rose, and someone did tell me how to say it, but I've forgotten. Uh, incense or incense. It's a very pinky shade. All of the um, all of the Hermes lipsticks are pinky or red. Well, that's not true. There's some that are orange. But they're, they're based on the shades of the Hermes purses. And I remember reading something once. It was like a play on the color red. So more orange red, more pink red. But I haven't seen from them like a brown red like or a brown pink. I have a lot of them. Not all of them, but I have a lot of the shades. And there's nothing in there that's brown. If there was, I would have bought it. The Hermes lipsticks, they do have a slight scent. I wish I could tell you what it was. It's actually quite nice uh, and it dissipates very quickly, but it does have a slight fragrance to it. There we go. There's our cool toned look for today. Again, uh, I do love the Dior formulas. You know, it's up to all of you to decide which color stories are right for you, but I cannot say enough about the new formulas and how excellent they are. Once the holiday drops, of course, I will be swatching and reviewing and all that good stuff. I do wanna mention, if you're not following me on Instagram, head on over there and follow me on Instagram. I am in the process of trying to put more things up there, stories, swatches, polls, that type of thing. I would love to build the community over there as well as over here on YouTube. 
Um, and let me know what kind of things you'd like to see like differently on Instagram versus here on YouTube. Also, I have a new community page tab up on YouTube. I've been asking questions and posting things about sales and that type of stuff. And I will be doing some polls with everything coming out. Uh, there are some collections that I'm definitely getting and then there's some things I'm kind of like, eh. So I'd love to hear from all of you what you would like me to get for those. I mean, for the ones that I'm kind of like, I'm not sure. If I know you guys absolutely want me to get it, then I will. The ones that I'm definitely getting, I'm definitely getting it anyway. <laughs> but there are a couple that I'm kind of on the fence about, so I'd love to hear your opinion. So thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. The thousand subscriber giveaway, I promise, is very, very soon. I just picked up the last piece that I wanted to be in the box. And as soon as I get it, I just ordered it. So as soon as I get it, the box will be complete. I will take a picture and I will put it up. So I'm gonna guess, you know, just to be on the safe side, because my shipping has been bizarre, second week of October, and it will be a huge box of everything. All these different types of products, makeup that you heard, you've heard me talk about here on the channel. And so once I have that complete, I'll take pictures, put them on Instagram. So check out Instagram uh, and then tell you guys how to enter to win. So thank you so much for joining me here today, guys. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit like, don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you in another video really soon.